What's up, everybody? I'm Chase Lee reporting for DallasMovieScreens.com, and I got another movie to review for you guys. Now, it is Oscar season and seasoning <laughs> Oscar has seasoning now no it's Oscar season and I'm getting a lot of these screeners from these studios they're sending them to me you know for for you know my consideration and uh, I want to do the service to them um, especially if I miss these in theaters uh, earlier in the year to review them uh, for them for sending me out these uh, screeners you know I really appreciate it. I don't even consider myself a critic or a journalist at all. So I am just definitely lucky to be in this category with these, you know, uh, better people than me. So National Geographic sent this one out to me. So thank you, National Geographic, for sending me out Jane. Now, this is the Jane Goodall documentary where we have footage that was shot in the 60s by uh, Jane's cameraman slash husband, uh, Hugo. I'm not going to even pronounce his last name because I'm going to sound like an idiot. Um, and Hugo shot over 100 hours of footage uh, from the 60s, and now we have a current director uh, that compiled all this footage and made it into an hour and a half movie and had Phil Glass compose music around it. And we get to see Jane Goodall's interaction with the chimpanzees and how they um, have similar traits to humans and how uh, if we understand chimpanzees, we can kind of get an understanding for humanity and just the world in general. So that's what Jane Goodall's purpose was when she... Uh, you know, studied all these chimpanzees, and she was kind of like the facial, facious, I can't speak, she was like the face of the National Geographic for a long time, I think she still is to some degree, and that's how I knew her, but I didn't really know her whole story until I saw this, and this is a fantastic documentary, so let's get real and break this down. Um, let's start with the positives. So, in terms of the actual footage that is shot in the 60s in uh, constructed into a documentary feature, it is absolutely breathtaking. I cannot believe that Hugo, who was actually uh, known as one of the best nature photographers ever, he got some of these shots. Like, just this whole movie is gorgeous. Whether you want to talk about Jane interacting with baby chimps or you want to talk about uh, humongous establishing shots of the you know, uh, forest area or the desert, just everything is so breathtakingly gorgeous that I just felt like I was sucked into this movie just on a visual level. And this almost reminded me of like a Disney nature film, uh, except the all the footage was shot in the 60s. So it had like a retro Disney nature feel to it and just absolutely breathtaking. I absolutely loved the visual quality to the documentary. As far as the actual subject matter and learning about Jane, I really liked because, I, like I said, I didn't know that Hugo, her cameraman, was her husband. I didn't know they had a kid together. Like, that was cool. That was cool to kind of see the story unravel uh, the way it did and how she was studying chimps from for human behavior. And then, you know, she ends up, you know, shacking with her cameraman, having a child of her own, learning how to raise her child and how she learned how to raise her child because she saw chimps raise their children. It's like, it's crazy how everything just all kind of connects with one another in this uh, documentary. Just, everything just kind of happens at a gradual rate. I didn't feel like anything was rushed. It just felt so organic and beautiful uh, to see this woman who was so passionate about learning all this stuff and then have a life of her own uh, uh, with her you know, son and do what's best for her son and send him off to school to you know her home, ho homeland. So it's just, it was really great stuff to see this character evolve from. Uh, from where she started. As far as the actual interview portions go with uh, the current Jane Goodall, who, uh, uh, you know, the interview, like, shots and composition, it's not anything spectacular. It's just, like, it's in a room somewhere. Um, it's well lit, um, well composed, I guess, but in terms of the actual background, uh, visual styling and noise, it's not really anything good. Uh, I mean, it, it's really, guys... It, Documentaries are one of the hardest to kind of review in grade because you can't review on performance because they're real life people and you can't really review it on cinematography unless it's just like absolutely terrible. So I'm really stretching to find like an actual critique of this film, but I did notice that the interview shots were a little flat to be honest with you. Um, the music. One of the best soundtracks I've heard all year. What an emotional Roller coaster. Are you kidding me? I can't believe that they take all this footage, this nature footage, 
and compose it with like this beautiful score that just like takes you on this journey and it just doesn't let you go. I just absolutely love the music in this and just really just adds that extra oomph you want uh, with a movie like this. One of my nitpicks slash negatives does have to do with the music. Sometimes, not all times, sometimes, might have been my speakers, I have no clue, the music was a little overpowering of the narration. And so I could hear the narration, but it was kind of drowned out because the music was so loud and bombastic in some scenes that it needed to be toned down just a little bit. Once again, negative, nitpick, whatever you want to call it, that's basically it. I absolutely love this movie uh, quite a bit. So the music was, uh, like I said, emotional uh, and just really took you on this journey of Jane and her learning about the chimps. And, you know, if uh, you didn't really know much about her, like this movie will definitely give you an inside look into how she worked and what she did and like what she's done uh, and what she's still doing for, you know, future generations in terms of teaching them about, you know, uh, forests, uh, like rainforests and animals and all that stuff. She's a really good person that just uh, has had a rich, fulfilling life, and she still continues to do that, and she will definitely go down as a legacy of uh, someone who um, has done research over this uh, certain group of animals. She is definitely a, a national treasure. So I'm going to give Jane a B plus. So what did you guys think of Jane, or have you even heard of it? Comment in the place below my face and let me know. And as always, guys, I'm Chase Lee reporting for DallasMovieScreens.com, and tune in next time for whatever I review next. I will see you guys later.